We as humans think we understand the world, but there comes a time when something comes along that defies all logic. Today we're going to be looking at some weird animals that really shouldn't exist, but defy all logic by existing. Do you think you're safe swimming in lakes and rivers? Do you think you're safe in the mountains or even in your own home? Well, stay tuned for number one to find out that you're gravely mistaken. Number nine, freshwater seals. We normally associate seals with saltwater, but there is a species of seal that live exclusively in freshwater. Known locally as the Nerpa and possibly half a million years old as a species, the Bakai seal is the only true entirely freshwater seal species on the planet, restricted to the deep and mysterious Lake Bakal, which is in fact the deepest lake on Earth. These aquatic carnivores are a species of uncertain origin, still presenting a mystery to biologists who have yet to precisely pin down the circumstances leading up to their establishment in the lake as an endemic species. Lake Bacal is not only extraordinarily deep, it's also extremely cold, with ice that remains into the spring breeding season. Well adapted to their environment, female Bacal seals have developed the ability to create ice stands in which they take shelter and subsequently give birth, usually to only one pup. A very small seal, the Bacal seal may reach just up past 4.5 feet in length and weigh no more than 154 pounds in most cases. The gray colored docile lake seal maintains breathing holes in the ice and haul out along rocky shorelines in warmer weather. Number 8. Lizards in the Ocean People often relate lizards to the deserts, or sometimes a rocky outcrop or a fallen tree in the jungle. You know, somewhere that makes sense, but them in the ocean just doesn't really click. And yet, a member of this vast and diverse group of small dinosaur lookalikes has done the unimaginable, and become marine animals, basking on waves, splashed rocks, and foraging under the surf. Native to the Galapagos Islands and surrounding waters, the large and colorful marine iguana is a lizard that has mastered the sea, hauling out on rocks like a sea lion in between dives below the waves, where they forage on marine algae and seaweeds chewed off the surface of submerged rocks. Their plant-based diet is easily harvested with the help of the iguana's razor-like teeth. Measuring over 3 feet in length and weighing up to 22 pounds, the marine iguana is the only ocean-going lizard on the planet. Large groups of breeding females jockey for space in the breeding season, while males fight fiercely for a chance to mate with the female of their choice. The dinosaur-like creatures are normally blackish or grayish in color, but the males stand out with its greenish and reddish hues that come into color during the breeding season. This signals dominance and urging females to select them as mates. Number 7. Poisonous Birds When one thinks of poisonous animals, our minds immediately go to various reptiles like snakes or even amphibians like poison dart frogs, and sometimes even mammals like the platypus, but never in our lives would we think that there are poisonous birds. But the fact is, there are. The different species of pitohoi from New Guinea are toxic feathered beauties from the rainforest to be approached with great care. Native to the rainforest environments of New Guinea, this bird is correctly termed as a poisonous species. In it, it carries a highly dangerous patracotoxin, which is present throughout the bird's feathers, skin, and flesh. The bird's toxicity became apparent in 1989 when a California Academy of Sciences-based researcher named Jack Doombacher, who had set out to study birds of paradise in Papua New Guinea, noticed burning pain in his hands when he was scratched by the peculiar bird. He had caught it accidentally, despite wanting to catch birds of paradise on closer inspection. The toxins that make up the chemical arsenal of these birds are in fact the same lethal compounds found in poison dart frogs, notorious for being capable of killing predators and humans alike. Exactly why the birds possess this toxicity remains a matter of scientific interest. It also comes with associated speculation that the bright colors of these birds warn potential predators of their chemical-laden bodies. The process by which patoi toxins concentrate also formed a subject of scientific curiosity that was solved by Doombacher when he went back to the rainforest and in collaboration with locals was able to determine that the source of the toxins consisted of poison-bearing beetles that the birds consumed in quantity. Number 6 meat-eating parrots. From a bird that could potentially kill you with poison, we now go to a bird that could potentially carve up your flesh and snack on bite-sized pieces of it. Meet the Kia, the world's only meat-eating parrot. The Kia of New Zealand is an endangered parrot that acts like a hawk or a vulture, eating the young of shearwater chicks and scavenging mammal corpses. This isn't very obvious if you judge this bird by its looks alone, with those huge cartoonish eyes. 
They have the ability to soar like a raptor, effectively insulating thick feathers and exceptionally sharp hooked beaks. This makes it all very adept at being opportunistic harvesters of meat. Attacks on live mammals are also known to have occurred, especially presenting a concern in the context of livestock management. Because of the tendency for Kia to sometimes prey on vulnerable sheep, wounding them and removing fat and tissue with their sharp bills, a bounty was placed on the birds, which are now protected but still classed as vulnerable. Brown and green in color at rest, the Kias may seem disappointingly dull to first-time observers searching for these parrots, but offer a surprise when viewed in flight from underneath with their bright red wing linings and graceful maneuvers as they search for their next meal, which could be you. Number 5. Night Gulls The owls might be the first and only bird you think of when the conversation goes to birds active at night. And yet a little known and unlikely marine bird from the Galapagos Islands, a wonderful island filled with strange and wonderful creatures has fully mastered the night sky through an incredibly strange detour in evolutionary history. The swallow-tailed gull sees in the complete darkness well enough to navigate and capture their fish and squid prey by moonlight. They then rest and tend to their young by day. The swallow-tailed gull is the only truly nocturnal seabird on the planet. The strange-looking gulls are equipped with extra-large darkened eyes containing a layer of reflective tissue that bounces light back to the retina of the bird's photoreceptor cells, aiding it in seeing well while hunting at night. They also have reduced melatonin levels, a sleep-inducing hormone found in higher quantities than all other gulls. Heading out at night in large flocks, the night gulls swoop down to see squid, small fish, and any other invertebrates in reach in their prominently hooked bill before returning to their nesting colonies. Number 4. The Vegetarian Vulture Vultures are the quintessential carry-on scavenger and often carry an unfair association with death in human minds. Yet a quirky vulture widely distributed across sub-Saharan Africa stands out in total rebellion against vulture ways. The aptly named Palm Nut Vulture has adapted to a diet centered primarily upon plant material, focusing on its foraging on the fruits of the Kosi Palm, Date Palm, and Acacia. In order to feed properly, the palm nut vulture opens the kernels before extracting the nutritious, fatty meal inside each palm kernel. It honestly can't get enough of these things. At just two feet long with a wingspan under five feet wide, the black and white bird with bright, fleshy facial patches is actually the smallest Old World vulture species in the world. The plant-eating raptor's small size and agility, coupled with talon-bearing powerful feet, facilitates its impressive foraging gymnastics, where it hangs upside down like monkeys from palm branches, accessing its food. The entirely vegetarian source of protein forms the bulk of the natural food supply for this bizarre bird of prey. In fact, it actually does form up to about 92% of the juvenile's diet and 58-65% of the diet of adults. For the adults, aside from the palm nuts, they also eat fish and insects. Number 3. Fisher Cats Fun fact though, cats do hate water. With probably the exception of the tiger, almost all cats throw a tantrum when immersed in water. But then we meet a cat that totally rips this fact apart and chops it into tiny pieces. Yes, there is indeed a species of feline from Asia so committed to an aquatic lifestyle that dramatic physical adaptations have defined its evolutionary history. Instead of shying away from water, the appropriately named fishing cat from South Asia and Southeast Asia inhabits wetlands, mangrove swamps, and the edges of rivers and streams where they hunt for fish, catching aquatic prey with their sharp claws or seizing prey in their teeth during opportunistic dives into watery feeding areas. Not afraid of water in the slightest, the cats have a variety of physical adaptations that give them mastery of the water as some of the most skilled swimmers among predatory mammals. Fish-eating cats have short tails, powerful muscles, and the ability to walk in mud without sinking and excellent padding and diving ability, allowing them to plunge deep into the water to capture fish, which forms the major portion of their diet. A thick, short fur-based layer of fur insulates the cats from wet and cold when in the water, while longer hairs provide camouflage. An underwater surprise attack approach to hunting waterfowl, where the cats grab swimming birds by the feet from below, has also been reported and ranks among the eeriest ways that a mammal can hunt birds. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's photo clearly shows xenomorphs swimming, and do xenomorphs actually exist? The answer might surprise you, so stay tuned. Number 2. Xenomorphs Everybody should know what a xenomorph is. If you don't, then you've been living under a rock for the past 20 years. 
Xenomorphs are those terrifying creatures from the Alien movie franchise, famous for being chest bursters and of course for having acid for blood. Of course, Xenomorphs are currently a figment of human imagination, but what if I told you that we do have an Earthbound creature that is basically a Xenomorph, particularly having acid for blood? Believe me, there is such a creature, and you'd be surprised to find out just exactly what it is. I give you evolution's answer to Xenomorphs, the hippo. Okay, yes, I know exactly what I said. When basking in the sun, hippos develop a red layer over their skin, and for years it was thought they sweated blood. This myth was finally dismissed in 2004 when researchers discovered that hippos were actually secreting a kind of acid from their skin. This red-colored acid, called hipposiduric acid, acts as a sunscreen and has antimicrobial properties that provide protection from bacteria and other microbes. Professor Mark Rizakaza from the School of Chemistry at the University of Melbourne says this unusual acid is an example of nature's chemistry laboratory at work. The acid has now been synthesized by chemists, and while it's not going to burn through your spacecraft, Professor Rizakaza says it could be used one day to add sun protection to everything from sunscreens to paint. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Freshwater Sharks One might think that swimming in lakes and rivers totally negates the possibility of one getting attacked by sharks, but think again. A population of bull sharks, a species known to have caused human deaths, lives in Lake Nicaragua. While several species of river shark patrol fast-moving waters in parts of Asia and Oceania, including Australia. Bull sharks are a primarily ocean-going species, but a population oddly yet naturally established in Lake Nicaragua ensures that swimming in a lake is not a guarantee of safety from shark attacks. While normal marine bull sharks are known to travel temporarily up rivers, the true river sharks belonging to the genus Glyphis are rare. The Genghis shark is the most closely associated with river habitats, while the northern river shark and spear tooth shark inhabit rivers and estuaries but more frequently swim in marine coastal zones. While the degree to which they travel in saltwater varies, what these sharks have in common is complete mastery of freshwater environments. This has the Genghis shark being especially comfortable far upstream from any source of saltwater. The bull sharks that inhabit Lake Nicaragua are not a separate species, but as a population have admirably adapted to the purely freshwater environment of the lake. In order to survive, they draw upon their ability to excrete urine at a higher rate than normal to allow proper osmosis in their lifelong freshwater environment. Do you know of any other animals that shouldn't exist but do? Let us know in the comments section below. Want to watch more videos about unlikely animals? Click on any of the videos you see on the screen. As always, everybody, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.